It's Friday. Do you know where your IT pros are? We don't. It's Patch and Switch. And now, two guys who couldn't make it in retail. But if you watch this show, boy, do they sell a... Oh, I shouldn't say that. It's Patch and Switch. (laughs) Sell a lot of... Oh, oh, that's what he was going to say. Did you... Did you work in retail? I did. Did you guy? Uh, I did. Did you work? No, I never did retail. (laughs) I'm a restaurant guy. I made coffee. I I worked in retail. (laughs) I will admit that. (laughs) Hang on. We need to rewind this. Can we go back? Did you make coffee? Huh? Did what? you work at Tim's? No, no, I did not work at Tim Hortons. Oh. <laughs> no. It was a uh, it was a coffee shop that was next to a place in Toronto called Much Music, or uh, the Canadian version of MTV. Yeah, and I know it was, music. Yeah, so they had like the they had like if you actually went there to the building, they had this ginormous uh, suburban SUV that was exploding out the side of the building, kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, anyway. Three doors down across the parking lot, there's this little tiny dessert place, and that's where I got my one of my jobs uh, in university was um, busking tables or busting tables and making coffees. That's where I learned how to make my lattes. Is, is that that's why the the americano you made me when we were over for brewing a couple of weeks ago was just like that was right up. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I understand it's not hard to make an americano because it's espresso and water, <laughs> but really, no, seriously, it was it was every bit as good as as the americano. Now, I, I uh, see, I, I've known you for a lot of years. <laughs> a lot of years. Let's leave it at that. A lot of years. We're just gonna leave it there. Yeah. Uh, and and this is the first time you that I had no idea you did that. That's yeah. that's awesome. He made that's me awesome. an incredible latte. An incredible Same. latte. Yes, I have. To, Is I that was the like, name I, of it? Yes, I I specifically asked for incredible latte, and he made it. So <laughs> fair. Soy milk lattes. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, it's all right. I, I make that right now. Um, actually, no, I don't use soy milk. I use my. For me, it's almond milk lattes. For my wife, it's just regular everyday um, milk lattes. She likes a little bit of vanilla in hers. Um, I love the barista machine that I've got. The the Breville. It's amazing. Yeah. It works great. No, it works it's great. Out, Every it's single penny. It's outstanding. Uh, Wired Connect says could be worse. He could have been a busboy at film bars. <laughs> mm, yeah, that could be worse. Uh, Super Tech uh, Boy says, wait, Canadian MTV? Oh. <laughs> no, seriously. I have to say, much music. <laughs> we, we did get much music yeah. uh, on some of the cable channels. And actually... Um, So a lot of the clubs that I worked in in the early days uh, had we'd we'd play off we play music off of VHS tapes or actually Mm -hmm. I'll even date myself some of them were Beta Max nice right because Beta Beta Max Beta was always better man Beta was always better it had a higher sound quality Um, and uh, some of the videos would actually come from Much Music we'd get them promoted from from much music so i knew all about much music uh, well you know because we're talking about much music i do have to call up my good buddy uh mr wireless life because he was actually a go-go dancer on um <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. On, his, on his show called electric circus he's trying to fight and not say anything right now but i believe the bot timed him out in a chat room so i had to say it i i, uh, I uh, copied it and pasted it back in since i'm one of these nice. mods there you go. Perfect. That's awesome. So, anyway. That's awesome. There's no uh, video footage of him to find, unfortunately. No? Oh, that's all right. That was, it was, that was Super Tech Boy says this story keeps getting better. <laughs> Every week in this show, the story just keeps getting better. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's, it's not scripted. I, who could write this is what I want to know. Exactly. Super Tech Boy is Canadian MTV just William Shatner and Beaver on repeat. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because there's also Shania Twain and Nickelback. Yes. So you just you know, have to know that. Get a couple more on there. Celine, she's like the, the empress of uh, TV. Yeah. Celine Dion. Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, for me down home, it'd be Anne Murray. You don't even know who Anne Murray is, do you? I, yes, I know who Anne Murray is. <laughs> just curious. I know who Anne Murray is. <laughs> she had a great Christmas, to... album, Christmas album, too. Yeah. No, I have That's, didn't That it's appropriate now to listen to. Since it's after Thanksgiving. Yes, officially, well, in my household, I like to try to hold things back at least until December 1. So it'll be Tuesday when Christmas music can start. However, I was upstairs uh, playing the Verdansk um, War Zone last night. And I come downstairs and my wife is already watching her first Christmas movie. 
So, so we've dark. had we've had the random Hallmark Lifetime I've never Christmas heard movie Hallmark channel before last year. So it's this new thing for me. Oh, it's been going. It's so we've had it on here. The They've had it on here for at least the, the last week. Do people just like turn it on in the background as they're working on stuff and they just it's occasionally just, watch it for 40 No, hours. I have a feeling they're out there binging. I don't know. I'm in here. I've been in here doing Diablo because the new season started last week. Mm. Uh, so I've been grinding out Diablo. But yeah. Um, Super Tech Boy says, first Christmas movie. I hope she was watching Die Hard. Mm, not yet. That's when I get involved in this normally again later in December. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, we did the outside lighting of our house. Uh, last weekend. Okay, now let, let's be frank here. You hired no, someone Joey, to do it for you. I know, but you you hired someone to do it for you. Well, you did not climb up on a ladder, and I know this because so, last time I climbed up on a ladder. <laughs> yes, because we know that I get vertigo and I can't do that because I'll fall right. off the roof. But uh, you are correct. They they put up the ones the first set, but anything that's lower than eight ten feet. Which I can get up basically on a step stool and yeah, do. You can, get a, you can just reach up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, that's all. That's all done. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Uh, but but you know we 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 have ground effects here as well. So I'm actually I'm actually fairly fairly pleased at, at the light lighting. I, I, so I have a permanently mounted, uh, much to the HOA chagrin, uh, laser cannon of lights, that is on my pillar. <laughs> Yes. And I shoot it towards, because my, my house is right next to some green space, as you can see here behind me. Uh, and uh, it goes and shoots the lasers onto the trees beside our house. Yeah. So yeah. we have a ginormous 40-foot wall of sprinkly, glinty green and, and red lights. Yep. Uh, it's better than my neighbor across the street, uh, just down the, down the road a little bit. What he does is he has his, but someone actually in his shoots onto his house, but someone apparently, I guess at some point was walking by and took the laser machine and turned it 180 to shoot at the neighbor's house. <laughs> so the neighbor's house has all these lights on it. And I'm wondering if the neighbor even noticed this. <laughs> and Rick, I can... I can either confirm or deny that was me that did that, but uh, uh -huh. still, it's, it would be funny, you know. Uh, I totally Brand. sus Rick there. Yeah, I know it could be. Could yeah, be I totally me. sus Rick. He's he's the imposter. Uh, fair, fair Brit, unpopular opinion. Die Hard isn't a Christmas movie. Yeah, you know, Fair uh, Brit, can you ban her? But dump her out, would you? You yeah. just can't say that. Fake news. Fake news. Uh, let's see. Uh, TDI Bone. There's not much music on much music anymore. It's the same with MTV. Um, uh, it's all reality should, shows now, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, we should say hello to the people uh, because we oh, haven't done cool. that yet. Yes. Oh, yes, please. Uh, cool. So let's say hello to another random IT guy, to Aspen, a DEF CON veteran, and Spazito. Fair Brit, uh, I am pure Johnny Chips with a Z. Ooh, That's Chips I like that. Um, uh, Kowski's in the house. Uh, Mr. TJ12, not Mr. TJ11. That's oh, a totally different person. Different guy. Different guy. Uh, Patrick Wynn is here. The shadiest of pandas, the techest of super boys. Uh, TDI Bone, TE Cable Guy, Vizio MVP, Wired Jeep, Wireless Life, CDN, and amongst others who we haven't seen. Uh, Johnny Chips, uh, hello and welcome. I like that Johnny Chips with a Z. Johnny Chips with a Z is nice. You know what, though? Because you read off Wired Jeep, you reminded me. I need to actually text him and ask if I could borrow his pass-through cable crimper. Uh, because um, I have loaned mine out to a friend and have not gotten it back yet, so I'm hoping he would loan his to a friend for me, and then I could use it and then walk it back over to him at some point today. Oh, what 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 don't, have you broken? Don't do it. No, it's we a, a custom cable. I, you know our good friend uh, uh, C4 next yeah. door. Uh, C5 is now in town. Oh, and yeah. uh, he's complaining about his Wi-Fi being laggy for his Xbox console, and so we're going to cut him a custom cable. Ah, nice. Yeah, so nice. he's back from the universities, um, which is awesome. Uh, you know, I think they have something like 7,000 people at the university, and they are completely in their own little bubble, like the NBA. And um, he's now back over here for a while. They don't get He doesn't go back to school until, like, January or something like that. It's crazy. Oh, nice. I'll give it, give it, give it a uh, ten days, and I'll be over. We'll yeah, no, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just, I'm leaving the, I'm leaving the tool on the, on the, on yes. the uh, thing. When it comes yeah. back in again, I'll have my hazmat suit with gloves, and then uh, wipe it down, and then return it again. Uh, let's see. Uh, TDI Bone. Uh, uh, let's see. TDI Bone recommended Shit's Creek season four, episode thirteen, as my new favorite Christmas show after Christmas Vacation. Ah, nice. We'll have to check I that out because of Shit's Creek. Oh, really? oh, you've got to. No, I've never seen it. I've, I've added it to my, guy, to my like the, the viewing list. The last TV show I binged 
uh, was that that literally I obsessed my my life and, and time on. I guess what a binge is uh, was the um, uh, long way long way up. Uh, and then because I watched Long Way Up with, uh, oh my God, Long Way, <laughs> Long Way a, Up. Yeah, that's the motorcycle one, right? Yeah, the motorcycle one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I watched Long Way Down or Long Way Around, which was the original one from 2004. That was hilarious. Um, from Long Way Around. Good stuff. But now, of course, um, of course. Thank you, Miss Miss Fairbrit. Uh, you and McGregor. I'm like, why? I thought it was Norm, Norm Chomsky. Like, what? <laughs> Who's Norm Chomsky? <laughs> some some literary guy, completely different. Uh, <laughs> you and McGregor. <laughs> so, um, anyway, the 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 one that he did from 2004 uh, was really good because they literally had no idea what they were doing. So. Norm Chomsky. You, you, you and McGregor draws a bit more of a crowd than Norm Chomsky does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, he, could, he could write a good poem about it, though. Uh, okay. Uh, Fair Brett, they have a new one. It's on Apple TV, Riding Electric Bikes. That was the first one I watched. Um, okay. And it's made me want to buy a uh, fully 100% electric pickup truck. The Rivian, I do believe it's called. Yeah. Have you seen that one? I Rivian? have. I have. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. Except still it's waiting. freaking heavy. Still, still need, still need the torque, torque readouts on that. See if it can pull a boat out of the water. That's the question. See, it supposedly can, man. It supposedly well, he's got it. Well, we'll we see. see. Well, we, we, see. I, we see. We shall absolutely see. Yeah. And because there's no like you know oxygen involved, um, you can like submerge it up above the windshield almost. <laughs> It'd be good for me. Except that <laughs> I was gonna say that has that been rick tested yet? It's, it could be. It could easily be rick tested. Um, but for some reason they're turning down my sponsorship request for the show. So um, it's just they're like, what? Thirty-seven people? Your high water mark? No, sorry, that's a little too low. Uh, but for the show, th they went in and they they got chosen as the as the pickup support truck um, as part of their deal. They decided to go in and put in 1,600 charging stations from the bottom of Chile all the way up and through to North America uh, to support the infrastructure of, of having high-speed charging stations. Um, so uh, yeah, they uh, pretty cool place. Uh, to a uh, bunch of folks out of uh, he's an ex-Amazonian. A uh, bunch of folks out of uh, Michigan. Um, they took over a Mitsubishi plant and have made it into a electric pickup truck. Oh, very cool. Very All this cool. fun stuff. I'll have to check it out. Uh, Super Tech Boy says, speaking of Christmas movies, there's a new Star Wars holiday special because they didn't learn their lesson last time. Uh, oh, no. Although this time it's Lego Star Wars. I give full credence to anything Lego Star Wars because mm -hmm. if you played the game and you've seen the cutscenes, as long as it's any it's of brilliant. the writers that have done the cutscenes to Lego Star Wars, it's going to be fantastic. Oh, it's brilliant. Uh, but I wonder if they are going to do any shout out to the original disaster of the Star Wars <laughs> Christmas special. Uh, that would that would only that would only yeah. Uh, Mr. Blacks, we arrived a little late. Black Friday and all. How is everyone doing? We're do we're doing good and and happy Black Friday. Have you bought anything? Personally, I have abstained from purchasing. Yeah, I have too. Um, I have not. Honestly, I'm not seeing anything massive that I need to go off and buy. Um, and I'm trying to be, um, you know what, just hanging out and chilling out. This is actually. I've been on vacation all week. I, I worked Monday Monday evening until about eight o'clock at night, and then I took everything else off, came back just for the show, yeah. um, and uh, also to troubleshoot my machine. Uh, <laughs> but but uh, you know that's more entertainment than anything else. Of course. So I'm going to continue troubleshooting the machine later today. But uh, I've been hanging out, just chilling, relaxing, I, doing I what was... I'm supposed to be doing. I've been telling my people on my team, take vacation. Prevent yeah. burnout, relax, disconnect, have fun. Uh, but I haven't been doing it myself. So finally, they came and said, "Rick, take vacation." Yeah. <laughs> and my and my wife said, "Take vacation." So finally, I did. So I've yeah. been on I, four days. I took vacation. yesterday off. Uh, obviously, sure. back for the show today. But uh, uh, in in two weeks' time, December two the weeks. 9th. Two weeks' time. Uh, December the ninth, I disconnect for the rest of the month. So right on. Uh, I'm counting down the days. Seriously. Can you, we can still do shows, though, right? Uh, we'll see. And streams? Uh, Come on. <laughs> of course. Come on. 
Of course, especially if we get to stream and playing games, which, by the way... <laughs> oh, what? Ta-da! We have a Black Friday special for our listeners, our viewers, our friends, our... Will we call them fans? Are, is anybody really a fan of this show? No, I, think we're, I think they're just all friends. Honestly, it's either friends or relatives that are watching us right now, so... Pretty much. Pretty, pretty much. much. Yeah. Uh, but that is... The, uh, after the program, we're going to take a quick break so we can get a refill on coffee and switch over the streams and get Discord fired up. But we're going to be playing Among Us. Uh, which is the game on stream, Steam, Steam. Nope. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where up to ten players can play together. Uh, one or two are the imposters, and you need to figure out who the imposter is or have the crewmates win. Uh, if you have not purchased it, it's on sale right now, so you can go pick it up and you can play with us uh, it's, it's, later in the program. It's only like four bucks, or three bucks, right? Yeah, it's it's three ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cheap. Uh, uh, if you later if you in the purchase it and you email us a copy of the receipt. We will send you a thank you note. We're not going to pay for it, but we'll send you a thank you note. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I didn't commit to that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> later later in the show, we'll be uh, getting names uh, in in the Twitches to put into a random generator to ensure that we have uh, uh, fairness in choosing the folks that will play with us. We're going to be playing for a little bit, uh, yeah. several rounds, so we'll get time to bring everybody in who wants to play so uh we did test this out the other night on stream so uh thanks to patrick and andy who joined us uh to do some testing as well as super, jflow and super tech boy uh, super tech boy played with us as well um my daughter who managed to kill all of us um so in case you're look. wondering where to send those receipts it's uh patch and switch at outlook.com uh, and um, you never know what might show up. Who knows? Super Tech Boy asks, will that thank you note be written on a $5 bill? <laughs> no. Uh, we did ask you to check for $1.380. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Wired Connect, we ordered PCs in July. They haven't arrived yet. Mr. Blacksway, he ordered a UPS, a keyboard, and mouse combo. That's it. Not sure if he'll go all in with new OLED and graphics card. Uh, you, Mr. Blacksway, I hope you got RGB because you can gain better with RGB. It's proven oh, that. Yeah, and uh, it is... Johnny Chips with a Z says, uh, just got a good deal on a 3D printer. Happy Christmas to me. Oh, Ooh, wow. If I send you a thing, will you create... I, 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 I got a, a, a fireboard thermometer, right? I mean, I have all the probes. And I understand there's, like, some plans out there for, for some 3D printed, like, probe holder things. <laughs> probe holder thingies? Yeah. Because they've got the big, long wires and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I want to know if you Johnny Chip should print that for us. Uh, right. I just volunteered him. Uh, Super Tech Boy, awesome deals on Nest products right now. Just picked up the Nest Hub for $49. Yeah, oh, I should get some extra Nest fire alarms. Yeah. Smoke detectors. Um, I'm short a couple for the house still. <laughs> You're supposed to have one in every room, aren't you? Or something like that? Yeah. According to the code? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm short some. You know how many okay. rooms I've got in this house? Yes, I do actually. <laughs> I'm, I'm short a few. Uh, Mr. Mr. Blacksway says fans, no attendees. Yes, is that what we should call it? Attendees, attendees. of the show. Attendees of the show. I think that's, that's actually pretty good. Word. That's that's yeah, not yeah, a bad way to put it. Yeah. Relatives, gluttons for punishment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I I uh, I spent a little bit of money last night. I will admit. Uh oh. Yeah. What'd you buy? Where man? did you Black Friday? <laughs> I bought a whole bunch of video and audio assets. <laughs> Oh, nice. All right, then. <laughs> that's um, dangerous in the that's show. That's super dangerous. Uh, yeah. so I'm trying to get a little bit more into video work, and it was like, hey, you know, I don't have any assets. And I bought a crap ton. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, it's a good time to buy it. They're on sale. Uh, they oh, were yeah. like 70% off. Uh, DEF CON veteran, my 5900X processor will probably arrive holidays 2021. Yeah. Okay, so... Since you've been, since since I know you've been watching the artisan builds and stuff like that, man. Like, yeah. when is it going to be time to upgrade the video card? Like, I've got a sixteen sixty right now or something like that, sixteen fifty. Yep. Um, that's working fine. Like, yep. when is it worth my actual time and cold hard cash because I'm cheap to upgrade my video card? Because the whole purpose of this build that we did for me when we live streamed and I dropped the motherboard and stuff like that. Um, when is it time to actually go and make that investment for a better card? Because uh, yeah. the PROC is currently a 3800, but the video card is an older one. The RAM is just around the right amount. So what Did I do? you get a 3900? No, I got a 3800 because it was the best one on sale. 
at oh. the time. 39 was was still, I didn't see the justification in price for why to yeah. go that way. 10%. Uh, yeah. And it's 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 a proc to hold me over for a year or so before I yeah. buy the next gen. The 5,000 series? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do the same action I'm building uh, as well. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of research in this and watching a lot of the, the, the streamers and stuff. And the, the, the reality is, is unless you're one of these big retailers like Artisan's doing a lot of business, so they're able to get a hold of these uh, 3000 series RTX cards. Um, the reality is, is Jan Feb, uh, when supply catches up with demand. Yep. Um, right now, everything's so overpriced. Uh, but like, even what, what would you, normal what retail would you is down not normal a good retail. card, like 300 bucks or something like that? Uh, four, yeah, but if you're anywhere in that three to four hundred dollar range of any of the new three thousand cards, thirty, yeah. seventy, thirty, well, yeah, thirty, sixty, thirty, thirty, sixty is supposed to come out. I don't think that's out yet. Thirty, seventy, thirty, eighty, thirty, ninety, thirty, ninety is ridiculous. But like a good third. Did you see what Adam Bomb has? He's got a card that has a yeah. video screen on it. No, that's his case. No, I thought it was the card that has the video screen. No, on it's it. it's his case actually. The side of the oh, case. Okay, because I saw one of the three thousand series has a video screen on it that you can. Oh, maybe control. that is his. As I'm pretty sure it is, because I know the three thousand series has a video screen on it, and so I think he put Baby Yoda on it. Yes, he did. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, Super Tech Boy says micro level. center. We don't have a micro center here, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. That's kind of the bummer thing. But look, it's it's going to be it's going to be, you know, Feb March ish. Um, I was looking at getting a 1660 Super to tide me over, but those are becoming hard to find now, um, yeah. and prices just keep shooting up. So, so we're, I, we're just basically going into a stasis holding mode at this point in time. Yeah, it's you know the new cards came out, the new RTX cards came out, the new AMD 50, uh, the, the new AMD 5000 series graphics cards or 6000 series graphics cards yeah. uh, were announced, but like I think they shipped like three of them. <laughs> um, it's kind of the same with the RTX. They ship like a, a you know, a dollar three eighty worth of them. Nice. Um, so yeah, uh, it's kind of wait, 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 a waiting game right now. In fact, I'm waiting on my build uh, until uh, the the supply gets there. I'm gonna pick up some RAM, pick up some processor if it's on uh, still on sale. They did have a Black Friday deal, but it's still not even kind of in the range of what I would consider a deal yeah. on, on yeah. that. I'm watching the chat here, and I realize we still have the stream elements telling people what beard is. <laughs> yeah, to, oh, the style. The, but it's the style of the month. It won't change until December. Oh, okay. So it changed in the summertime to a new one. Yeah, that that's the, so the the style the the style of the month is pilsner, and right so, on. so we did that. Very yeah. true. It is uh, true. Uh, and a definition there. Uh, I see. I am pure. Uh, says I got a new gaming rig with an RTX 3000 series card and a pair of ultra wide gaming monitors next week. Look out for dance. Here I come. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Nice. Jayshock picked himself up a 10th gen Nook. Can't really game on that though. No. No, but it's my work but from home machine. Else you need. It, it's my. It's going to be my work from home machine, and was... I've been I've been having loads of problems with my work machine that I brought home. That's just it's just not working right. So I uh, set this thing up and it screams. Oh my goodness, it's powerful. Just I, was, I was a, I was about to pull the trigger on a M2 drive uh, last night for Black, Black Friday sales on Amazonians. Uh, they had the 980 Pro, uh, 500, 500 gigabyte uh, M2 Gen 4. I was looking specifically for a Gen 4 drive. Yeah. Um, and they had that one there on sale for 50 bucks off, or sorry, $40 off. But again, was... I'm like, is that really that big of a savings, $40? Well, I mean, uh, you're not going to get, I mean, the M4... It does have better I/O, but is it dollar for dollar for dollar worth it right now? That's mm -hmm. that's something still that you too need new. To, still yeah. too new. <clears throat> yeah. The GeForce RTX 3080 Vulcan overclock has a built-in flip-up LCD screen. I think that's his case because it's on the side of his case. Unless he did a he did uh, a he he did the board mount sideways with oh the did he? okay yeah yeah uh, probably. Probably knowing Adam Bob. Uh, here in, in Sweden, we have a few 30, 90 available. They're like $2,400. No, Oof, there's thanks. no reason to pay that much for a graphics card. There's no reason to pay anything above 500 for a graphics card. Yeah. I'm sorry. That I just That's just me. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, so so graphics cards uh, graphics cards are, are out of stock. So, to, yeah, that's we're, we're going to wait. We're going to we're going to be waiting. Hanging out. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. By the way, for all of our U.S. friends, uh, it was yesterday. Um, I got to give you and your family a shout out. 
what you guys do every Thanksgiving is amazing. Um, oh. And so give you a shout out and thank you to, uh, if anybody donated, I know you had a big group of people on the social medias, but uh, if, if they didn't see, go check out Rick's Twitter. Uh, that was a pretty impressive, uh, normally you, you, you do a meal for the homeless. Yep. This time because of COVID, it's not a sit down kind of buffet style. You did individually packaged. Yeah, yeah. So we, we've been doing this for about five years now, and it started out as a something that my my kids, uh, um, did you call it a social group? I don't know what it is, service group, social group, something like that, uh, where we work with a charity called Facing Homelessness in downtown Seattle uh, that just believes, you know, just just say hello is there is there philosophy to someone that, that is looking for some money you're looking for some help and they happen to be homeless or whatever happens to be uh so we ended up hooking up with a guy that's uh that used to be homeless now has a place to live and he's an ex-chef that used to be a chef from um park plaza hotel uh in new york city like he's, he's he knows his stuff um anyway we we partnered with him five, six years ago. We started to do the sit-down meal at a church that's downtown. Uh, so it's great. You actually, you know, buffet style, come and get your food. But it's not like it's a industrial setting, massive, noisy, and crazy, and thousands of people. It's like 40, 50 people that show up throughout the course of a couple of hours. And you actually sit down at tables. And the tables are set up like a family table. And you sit down and you eat with them. So people that are working that also get to sit down and eat and chat with these folks. Um, but anyway, like you said, with COVID-wise, um, we couldn't do it because the church wasn't allowed to have any kind of facilities. So I took some pictures of, we managed to make with the same amount of food, uh, 40, or sorry, 37, I think, I think I rounded it up to 40, uh, 37 individual meals, one box of vegetables, one box of, of meat with gravy and cranberry sauce, stuff like that. And then we, uh, I drove it down uh, to my to my contacts for house. Uh, he came along, and then we went to three or four different spots where we knew that there were some encampments that aren't the big popular ones that are right. serviced and like official. These are the ones that are at the side of the road kind of thing, yeah. uh, and just dropped off like you know six bags here, five bags there. Um, and the folks were just genuinely like, "Wow, thank you. It's an awesome thing." So it's a great time. Um, and and it's not me that does the socials for that. It's actually my wife. So pure props to my to my 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 mom <laughs> connections for the Mumphia. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're, they're the ones that kind of wrangle stuff around, find all the donations to be able to make it happen, and then it's just something that we do as a family because we're Canadians. We're Canadian. So yeah. Thanksgiving for us is October. It's not November. Yeah. So that's when we do it. But no, we're gonna be doing it. We're gonna be doing some uh, pulled pork sandwiches, I think, in December time frame. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, it was it was super cool. Uh, I saw all the pies. Yeah, the pie. <laughs> well, there's there's a little bit of pie left over. I cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had of course. individual pies inside of slices. Uh, last night I had a ginormous piece of pumpkin pie, uh, my favorite pie. I don't, all you pumpkin pie haters, you can just go and keep your opinions to yourself. Uh, I'm a pumpkin <laughs> pie guy. Uh, with uh, ma with uh, not maple, um, it was um, vanilla whipped cream on top. Yeah. I'm sorry, we're losing Rick on the stream here. Oh, it's it's just <laughs> <laughs> obviously, uh, Jay Shock is from the camp No Pumpkin Pie. Um, I love pumpkin pie. I don't know what it is. It's no, it's very good. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've, I've just never been a fan of pumpkin. I, I love the smell of a pumpkin pie, though, in a house. It just smells so good as far as the, just the taste. It doesn't work for me. Oh, yeah. If I, could, if I could bathe in pumpkin pie, it'd be perfect. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> There's um, an image you don't want to have, I guess. So uh, um, Rick's no longer allowed in Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, so. There's a difference between pumpkin pie and pumpkin spice. Two different, yes. two different, two different things. things. Yeah. Two different, two different things. things. Uh, yeah. So anyway, um, so kudos and shout out and shout out right to the Mumphia for, for collecting everything. Um, you know, uh, it, it's awesome. And and I wonder if we shouldn't. Well, you know what? We're we're gonna do this next year. We're gonna we're gonna start a drive in October. And the show in gonna, October. Yep. Yeah, next October, the show's gonna help fundraise for that. I think. I oh. think we need to do that. I think that would be right a on. fantastic way. Uh, to do that, so we'll work on that. We'll, we'll come on. up with some. We'll, we'll come up with some some creative ways to 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 do some of that because our our, our audience that they, they they can help out. That's right on. That's, Appreciate uh, it. Why, why have why why have a platform uh, if you can't use it for some good instead <laughs> of evil, which is normally what we do. Normally so, it's evil, yeah, or yeah. just pure silliness, one or the other. Uh, Phil Schwab, the only beer I couldn't finish was a pumpkin imperial stout. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm I, not a fan of the pumpkin beers. I tried them. I tried making some one time. It just wasn't didn't work out. Uh, I don't know what it is? Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no to pumpkin beer. That's just we will we, didn't we try to make something? We did, didn't we? We tried to make some pumpkin stuff, and it just it was scary looking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, you could just add the spices, I guess, to be able to get the thing. But we actually went with like the pumpkin puree, uh, among some other things, and it just was very. Nice. I don't think we drank it. Um, not very good. Kowski's in on the fundraising stuff. Patrick says, yeah. there we go. I am sure it's nice. Uh, Patrick says, pumpkin beer is evil. I agree. Vizio MVP, <laughs> the backwards should not be allowed. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, another random IT guy. I'm even in for Christmas if something comes together. Well, keep you informed. We'll keep you in the loop. We do need time to put these things together. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and you know what? The interesting thing is, is that this is what someone, this is what my, my, uh, my friend, the chef said. He was saying that... Um, it's potentially better to do it in the off week of uh, Thanksgiving because everybody does it for Thanksgiving. So if you're on the streets, there's lots of opportunities to grab some stuff. There's less of them this year because of COVID. A lot of the places that do meals were closed because of the same reason of yeah. uh, not being able to gather. Uh, that's why we're thinking about doing something in the December time frame, uh, just making sandwiches or something like that. Yeah. So yeah. Well, who knows? We'll, yeah, we'll see what we can throw together. Uh, should we start the show? Because we're, we're 31 yeah, we minutes in, and I don't think we've talked about it's, anything. It's kind of hard to talk about from the trenches because I've been on vacation all week, so yeah, uh, I can talk true. about my Monday. <laughs> I guess it was last week too. Uh, this is the season. I think I might have mentioned this last time, just as a pre-warning. Uh, it's the season of uh, internal Microsoft review writing uh, for what they call the Connect part of our performance discussion that we have. That really is just about you know doing a check-in, setting some goals, reflecting back on how you've done and stuff like that. So um, now that I'm a manager. I, or I don't like to say that word. Now that I'm a lead of a team, <laughs> manager in air quotes for sure. Now that I'm a lead of a team, uh, I, I, I get the, the fun part of not just writing one connect, which I still haven't written mine yet. Um, <laughs> I get to read seven connects and then I get to write responses to these seven connects. Uh, and so that's great to be able to go through and reflect back on how my team has done what they've done, uh, talk about the good stuff, talk about some suggestions and what they can do and focus on for next time around. So that was a lot of fun to do on Monday and finally get them all done uh, and chat with them. Um, and uh, that was literally it. Besides, I'm talking to probably the equivalent of level seven tech support. Uh, th these are the people that like write the freaking core operating system and drivers I'm working with right now to be able to troubleshoot my machine. Because <laughs> I have a, I have a apparently some kind of corruption inside of either my file store or my driver cache or something like that that's making it so that one of the cumulative updates will not install. But Microsoft IT has forced the install and I can't opt out of it. I can't pause it. I can't oh. redirect it. So every 24 hours, my machine locks and says, you must install this now. And then and then eventually I'm doing some, some kind of work and all of a sudden the prompt comes up and it says, you're going to restart in 10 minutes. Like, I love that one. <laughs> yeah, it, it says you, you are restarting. Yeah, you can do it now or you can, you, can, you can do it in 10 minutes. Like, there's no other option, right? It's like yeah. a bad UI prompt that somebody wrote on purpose to make it so you have to do it. <laughs> and then the damn thing restarts, starts the install, and then it sits there and you've got the, the spinny circle of the dots coming in and doing stuff on the boot up phase. And it just stays there and hangs. And literally will be there for like 48 hours if I leave it alone to see if it just pushes through. Nope, doesn't do it. Uh, but doesn't lock up. And then press and hold the power button for 10 seconds, shut the whole motherboard down, bring it back up again. Sometimes it then does the reversal and says, oh, tried something and failed, it's back out. Uh, but uh, it hasn't been doing that reliably. Once or twice my drive didn't initialize because I'm pressing the button too quickly, and you know it, I'm, I'm just yeah. waiting to corrupt my system, right? So yeah. I'm like, I gotta get this fixed. So I completely leveraged my connections on channel nine to talk to the guys that used to run um, Defrag Show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Andrew and uh, Gov, um, and uh, I'm like, can you help? Because <laughs> I've tried everything, and so I've got uh, Gov is actually looking at some of my logs right now, trying to figure out some more stuff, which is just awesome. That that is awesome. I'm surprised you didn't just. I mean, is there a reason why you just haven't just blown it away and started from well, new? Or? Originally, is because it's this is you and I talked about this literally years ago. It's like IT pros were fixers and 
tinkerers and we need to figure out why things aren't working. And so I'm yep. doing log analysis. I'm doing file traces. I'm like looking at shit stuff. I didn't say the word. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and then I'm like, you know what? I, this is really bugging me. Why can't I figure this out? Uh, and I flipped it over to these guys to have a look at. But I, I'm, I'm close to the point where I should probably just do a format scorched earth policy, but I really don't want to. Like I just yeah. got this guy happy, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I guess on the positive side, with the speeds that you have and the I.O. you have, it, it, it's it's pretty simple. But then again, I know that before you do it, make sure you back up your OBS stuff and everything because we oh, have yeah. Yeah. all of that stuff because... So, so yeah. right there is my USB key. It's getting yeah. closer to the... <laughs> every day it moves another inch closer to the drive to yeah. basically nuke it. But, but, but you're, doing, you're doing good work in the fact that you notify the team that is oh, responsible this is a, for this stuff to see if yeah, there is a problem, right? I there's mean, a bug, there's official bug files uh, through the feedback request. It got elevated into an actual bug. Uh, there's been commentary on it, so other people have been looking at it, so that, that part I'm fortunate. I'm pretty sure it's not something to do with uh, the fact that it was an insider build, because I'm actually, I just double-checked uh, before this, and I'm not on insider's builds for the OS. I thought I was, but I'm not. So, uh, we'll see. Uh, TDI Bone Shastuff, candidate for next week's title. I agree. Yeah. I, I agree. And then uh, what, what Wired Canuck is telling me that that particular error code, that's not the error code that's coming up. It's a different one. I could, okay. put, it in the, I, I could put it in the chat and like scale uh, scale the troubleshooting efforts. <laughs> well, well, look, the reality is, is if you've got if you've got Andrew and Gubb working on it, I mean, that, yeah, <laughs> pretty sure that. I, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to downplay what our community does because our community right. is amazing. But when you have the team that's actually working on the product, yeah, uh, yeah, they, they they should they should definitely be able to come up with it. Yeah, well, if there is a solution, otherwise, like you said, scorched earth policy, right? Yeah, scorched earth is the way to go potentially, but I really don't want to. Yeah, and because I know people in the chat are going to want to see it, I'm actually copying the uh, error code that's in the event logs uh, into the chat window just in case people want to actually see it uh just to remind everybody um and you can use the command uh, exclamation among us we will be playing among us with our uh attendees yeah it'd be fun uh uh after the program we're going to take a quick 10 minute break so we can get coffee get switched over to technology move over to the discord server and everything so get ready uh because in just a few minutes i'll be asking if you want to join and we'll have you shout out uh, your names in the chat and um jared will put them into an excel random generator we're gonna be playing for a little bit so uh and and i think you know if it goes well we may end up just doing lots of random acts of, of playing some games uh, mm -hmm. But just wanted to let you know that it, uh, that's 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 all there. I'm I'm surprised that Diablo is not on the short list for what we should be playing. Do, uh, is there just, a limit for how many people we can do for Diablo or what? Uh, you can do groups of four in Diablo. Okay, and we have to do Fall Guys. We haven't done Fall Guys. Yeah, I think we do time. need to do a Fall Guys stream, but that's that's not so much playing with the attendees uh, eh. because you know it's kind of random. You, you don't have private servers yet. Uh, okay. Uh, but it, it would still be fun. Uh, Patrick's like, oh, D three, yes. Um, so it's on sale. You can pick <laughs> it up. It's twenty nine dollars right now for the battle pack. Right that now. Includes the necromancer, which is the, actually I am currently um, working. I'm I'm at uh, I'm close to seven hundred. Playing since the new season started last week, a uh, very casual player. Uh, my demon hunter, um, my God uh, demon hunter, uh, which is. It's so much fun to play. Mm -hmm. She's super fast, uh, kills all the things. But I do understand that in this current season, Necromancer has a pretty incredible buff for uh, uh, one of its uh, one of the builds. So yeah. uh, I, I am I will eventually be playing. I will actually be playing it. Uh, the, the Necromancer, and it might be fun to kind of get a group of four four people together and start. Yeah from basically scratch, I'll have Paragon. I don't have to use it, so I won't get the advantages there. Um, and well, we can just start from scratch. One of these days, we should also try to do my game of uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, um, just or Warzone, because they do have private servers now, but you have to have a minimum of 50 people to join <laughs> for private server. I, I don't How know many? 50 people. <laughs> So we don't have enough people on the stream for our attendees to be able to join and fill up the server, <laughs> but it is possible. Yeah. 
Uh, Super Tech Boy suggests some Jackbox, Jackbox games. Yeah, I agree with right. that. We, I've, I've got some of those on my Switch. It would be fun to maybe pick up a few of those and and play with the play with the attendees. That uh, they can get very inappropriate. So maybe we have to do that. We have to uh, change so, your stream rating for that one. Yeah, exactly. I love um, how you've attached to attendees. Yes. No, I love it. <laughs> attendees is totally perfect. I, I love, love it. it. Yeah, I, I want to. I mean, who who do we have to give credit for that for? Was that? I did that. Yeah, was it was it Patrick? I don't remember who it was. I don't remember. Was it I am pure? I someone I, I, scroll back in the chat and find out. Yeah, somebody, somebody. We need to make sure that we give proper credit. Yeah, as to who yeah. who who decided to do that. Uh, the Xbox port of Diablo Three is pretty fun as well. It's amazing on the Switch, by the way. I took that with me everywhere. Uh, a lot of folks. Um, uh, Wire Canuck, I did get Diablo 3. I'd never played it before. Not my cup of tea. Fair enough. Um, Jay Shock, of course, big into Diablo 2, as uh, I think I did all my network testing on Diablo 2. Right. Um, sorry, network testing. Network uh, testing. Was not Pet it was not Patrick. Uh, was it... Um, was it I Am Pure that created it? Somebody... We need to find out. So, yeah. Scroll back in chat. Mr. Blacksway said it. Oh, uh, Mr. Blacksway. All right, then we'll give him credit. Mr. Blacksway. Nice. Uh, att attendees, I love that. Uh, Soldier of Fortune 2. Uh, Kowski, I feel demoted, friend to attendee. Nice. <laughs> well, Kowski, the, I mean, the thing was is that when we popped it up there, people were like, well, friends, that's pushing it a little. Yeah. Because yeah, we thanks. know that you're not fans. Nobody's a fan of this show. I mean, let's well, just... I, I met one fan ages ago when, before COVID, when you could travel, and there was actually someone that recognized either the hat or the logo that I had on my phone, because I have on my phone I've got the patch and switch logo. It's the hat. Uh, and and he said, um, are you are you from Patch and Switch? <laughs> I'm like, what? Is there a camera? Am I being punked? <laughs> uh, so there's at least one of the people one of the people out there. And do you know you where know, in the world you were? Uh, it, it was in it was here in Seattle. It was oh, was it the, really? He was getting on the train to get back to the main terminal to get your bags. That is uh, hysterical. And I sat there and chatted with him for the train ride to, to head back, back when you could be, you know, within three feet of each other with no masks on. Uh, um, Wire Nook says, Rick's my boss. I have to watch. <laughs> yes, nice. He's providing tech support, remote tech support of the stream. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> so you, you haven't shared your From the Trenches story because you were working this week. At least you said you were working. You only took uh, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, oh, by the way, Johnny Johnny Chips with a Z says he's a fanboy. So uh, there you go. Uh, that, no, we appreciate it. Mm, I, yeah. I do kind of I do like the attendee thing. I think that's kind because of, we do things a little differently, right? Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's just how we are. Uh, <laughs> so I did, I too am in the middle of Connexies and actually have finished my Connect. Uh, there's another part to that process, as you know, which is the people card process, which is the second tier level that you managers get together and talk about all of us. Yeah. Um, it's a very important process in my org is because um, in the last 18, sorry, 24 months, um, we have gone from being able to fit my entire organization in one of the conference rooms to basically being um, massive. massive across across the world. And so that's important so that everybody could, because not everybody knows me anymore. That used to be mm -hmm. the entire team knew who I was uh, because we were so small and we were all located in one space and we can't do that anymore with remote work. And um, now... I'm sure you saw the news that um, we're expanding in Dublin. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, one of one of our GPMs, Alana, uh, breaks my heart. She's leaving us to go to Dublin to run uh, a lot of the dev work over there and to, mm -hmm. to be one of the, the engineering uh, leads over in, in Dublin. Uh, and so we're just continuing to expand. So I spent quite a bit of time working on the people car piece and, you know, it, I have to say, as, as much as I complain about the process, when you actually sit down and you can actually show what I feel has been a lot of busy work, because, and we've talked about this on the show, we're over-indexing on meetings because we can. Mm -hmm. Because we're showing, we feel like this is how we show our work. Because it, in the past, it used to be you could grab somebody in the hallway or you'd be in a review meeting and you just, everybody can see you working. And me, I'd be traveling all the time and people know, oh yeah, Joey's traveling, he's, he's working, you know? Uh, now it's like we're meeting. That's how we're showing our value. Uh, it was kind of cool to sit down and actually go through, look at the numbers, look at the data. We're very data driven in, mm -hmm. in my team. Uh, look and see the impacts. Um, I didn't realize how successful one of the things that I was running actually was until I pulled all the data. So it's kind of cool because you have to really shorten it down into really a 30 second pitch. What's the 30 seconds about? 
what I've accomplished. Um, right. So as much as I complain about the process, it was it was kind of cool to f finalize that, uh, and then to close my laptop uh, and be done with it for the weekend. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But uh, you know, starting Monday, it's it's back to it. Um, we've got a lot of stuff, cool stuff happening in uh, uh, in the world of uh, particularly around some of the new governance capabilities we built into Azure Active Directory. Um, we're going to run some experiments uh, with partners uh, around some of those capabilities. So that that's kind of cool. It's always cool to kind of get into a new niche or niche, as they say, mm -hmm. uh, of of various things. So yeah, is, it's, is it niche or niche? Up in Canada, we say niche. I think it's niche. And the yeah. niche niche is the Americanization of it. Probably, uh, yeah, because we can't we can't say those. I say niche as well. French words. I say niche <laughs> as well. I don't know. Uh, I remember well, so, so, so someone someone made fun of me because when I when I said I was going to send them a check, C H E Q U E check. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, what? <laughs> what are no, you giving me? Yeah, that's because that's what you do on in, in that side is you add random Qs and Zs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Super Tech Boy says he's her both. Super Tech Boy also says he's he's only here for the food. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, this is food break. Uh, J Shock watching patch and switch. Colin needs improvement. Oh, we've been given a CNI. I hate that. Uh -oh. uh, <laughs> Patrick says, heck, I make my family watch your random streams on the big screen. Oh, you are cruel. Why would you do that? Uh, Fuel says, I've suggested to my management they should aggregate how many meeting hours we spend as an org after COVID. I think the numbers will be shocking. Actually, you can pull that. We have that data. If you're using yeah. Teams, we can collect that data. Yep. Jared, <clears throat> you need to mute when you're eating and drinking, buddy. I'm sorry. Unless, unless your, your audio channel is only in our ears. I, I no my audio channel at that, that point was only in your ears. Thanks for letting everybody <laughs> know, though. <laughs> yeah, all right, good. I just, all I, all, I hear it. I, I, I'm just like, come on, come on, man. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're a show here. We've we got like here. sound and everything. <laughs> now, do you call it checks or is it shacks? No, it's <laughs> Can you pass me a shack, please? <laughs> I will write you a shack. <laughs> You're going to write a uh, shack? Like the best player? A shack. <laughs> you know, it's also spelling color the right way with an O U. So that's also in there a lot. A lot Patrick of silent says, U's. Patrick says it's just me. I have loads of audio glitches. Oh, I hope it's just you. Because I, 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 oh, unless Jared, when you're Jared, when you're switch, if, if, when Jared switches scenes, if you've got the the scene switcher audio, that may be what you're hearing. You're it, not well, switching scenes a lot. Be, yeah, it it also could be like he, he's he's surfing on the same machine he's streaming from sometimes, and that kind of makes us all go jerky and slow. Yeah, probably. So. Uh, feels feels only here for the audio glitches. Uh, oh yeah. Super tech I want some checks mix. I want checks mix too, but okay. I no, love the back Smith. stuff. Shex mix. Shex, yeah, Shex mix. Um, I actually, it, it, true story, I actually buy a couple of bags and I take it to Australia with me because it's a great snack. Oh, that yeah. salty kind of uh, umami type flavor that you oh. need when all you're having is sweet stuff. But um, I want to actually make some because while the bag stuff is fantastic, the homemade bake stuff or even smoke it on the smoker. Yeah, so the Canadian version of that is called, uh, I would call it Mini Milo, because it's the French name, because all, all the packaging <laughs> all the packaging in Canada is both English and French, right? So for some reason, my kids and my family have all locked in the fact that it's called Mini Milo, uh, which is uh, bits and bites. Uh, have you heard of bits and bites before? No. So bits and bites is like the Canadian version of Chex Mix. Okay. Um, and so bits and bites. And so that's one of those things. Like there's coffee crisp. There is uh, a certain type of uh, granite cleaner. Uh, and there is uh, bits and bites are the three things that we always ask for when we need to get okay. something from Canada, when we used to be able to cross the border uh, before times. Um, and so uh, bits and bites is, is to die for. I think it's better than Chex Mix. You guys over-index on the... The, the the waffle um, the, the checks the, the checks yeah uh, we, we we use shreddies in ours uh, not checks itself and okay. uh, and we also have Cheerios you have Cheerios in yours uh, when I do homemade it there's Cheerios and so there's there's, Cheerios and there's roasted them. peanuts yeah and those there's no peanuts in ours because we have a peanut allergy in Canada so there's no peanuts in this all, all of the whole country has all a of peanut Canada allergy. has a peanut allergy. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I did not. Okay. So <laughs> I learned why, lots of things today. Yeah, Bits and Bytes does not have it. Uh, but, you know, now I'm craving it, so I'm gonna, I don't think we have any left. Um, but uh, the, 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 w the, one of the things that's now kind of replaced it down here has been the crack pretzel, uh, Dots pretzel. Oh, yeah, the Dots pretzels out of what? They're out of one of the Dakotas. I don't North, know. North Dakota, one. there, eh? They're up in North Dakota. Dakota. Yeah. North Dakota. Uh, so the, the, they would be a good addition to any Chex Mix slash Millie Mino. The thing mm -hmm. I've added to Chex Mix myself are bugles. Bugles? I like uh, bugles. Yeah. Bugles, are, are, yeah. bugles are, they they add a good crunch to the uh, Chex Mix. Uh, wireless life running low on the Costco source scotch. I'm just crossing the border. Uh, <laughs> Super Tech Boy Chex is the best for soaking in Tabasco flavor. Oh, uh, yeah. That could work. Might be a little bit intense. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, well, you like it a little spicy. Oh, speaking of spices, I have to thank you. I don't think I've even chatted with you. I have to thank you uh, for <laughs> for having uh, my one of my favorite barbecue seasonings imported from Texas. Because imported. The, yes, the lovely Miss Kelly was, uh, and, and Ella were down there playing some soft, Ella was there playing softball. Yeah. Uh, Kelly being softball mom, uh, brought me some of that seasoning for barbecue. Yeah, thank you. That, no that, my Rudy sauce, my Rudy seasoning and some sauce. Um, all right, so it's time. We've got nine minutes until the top of the hour and the end of the program. So if you're interested wow. in playing Among Us in the chat, please uh, uh, just 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 tell us in chat that you're interested and Jared's going to collect names. We've got spots for six or seven folks uh, in the first round, and then we'll do another round um, later. So please, in chat, let us know that you're interested in playing Among Us. Jared's going to get you an invite to a second Discord server that we're just using to play games with. It's not the normal... Uh, Discord server that uh, the IT Ops Talk uses, and that's here. So we'll get your names uh, collected. Jared will will select that, uh, get that information of the Discord server. Uh, so so folks will will definitely do that. Um, Wired Connect says I have to go to work. You don't have to work. <laughs> <laughs> I know your boss. Uh, uh, so it looks like a few people are interested. Ass. So we're gonna we're gonna collect some names. Uh, we're gonna get some. We're gonna do some random random uh, draws there. Uh, speaking of random, have you done any random? We talked about this early in the show. No random spending for you. I've been contemplating getting a fake Christmas tree. Oh, can recommend. So I haven't done it yet. I want to get one that has like 3,800 micro LED lights with a, with a show and stuff like that and 6,000 tree tips and, and comes apart in three pieces and crap yep. like that. It's like 500 bucks. I highly um, recommend the Costco one. See, but like the, the, the missus is not interested. She's on again, off again. She doesn't want to spend 500 bucks on a tree. How much do you normally spend on a real one? <clears throat> 70 bucks. Okay. Times. Something like that. Times every year. Yeah, for sure. Plus, I have to deal with having to light it on fire when we're done. So um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a tradition. You know, the Boy Scouts don't come pick them up, right? You don't do that? No. You light them on fire in your backyard. If I... they go up like this, man, it's crazy how fast they go up. Uh, it fits inside the fire pit. It stands up straight, and you just throw a little bit of kerosene on it and throw a match on it, and poof, gone. And and I question why our insurance rates are so high. <laughs> well, the trick is you got to do it when the HOA isn't around and when your neighbor is on vacation so no one can see it. <laughs> why could I, I hopefully was... not inside the house? <laughs> So, um, yeah, uh, the Boy Scouts Patrick, coming. they have to pay the Boy Scouts to take it away, though. And that's actually, the donation. garbage can, the, 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 you can put it in, you can put it out with your recycling bin. Yeah. But it's a donation when you give it to the Boy Scouts, just so you know. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. That really yes. does make sense. Uh, Wireless Life says Canadian Tire has a nine foot Noma on sale for three ninety nine Canadian, which is what? That's like $2. Yeah, I know, eh? Uh, Patrick says, yeah, the fake one with lights is the way to go. His wife was not interested. You just blame allergies. That's a good call. That's a good one. Uh, my, uh, my, my daughter, Ella, wanted to get the one that's app controlled with your phone. And you can, like, draw on it. And then it okay. will actually have your drawing on it and rotate it around and do stuff. No, that like so we've got we've got the new one from from Costco that we picked up last year. And it's got two settings, colored or white. Yeah. And, and how many lights? How many thousand lights? I don't know. A lot. 
I mean, it, it looks amazing, uh, yeah. but it doesn't do all the shows and any of that stuff. I think that's I think that's going too far. I just want so one that like twinkles and changes the lights around. Twinkles yeah, you can you lights. can do that. You can, can you, yeah, that that's one of the options. Uh, uh, TDI Bone 3800 micro lights and a USB connection. No, we're gonna put that thing on Wi-Fi. In fact, we're gonna put it on public Wi-Fi. <clears throat> yeah, make it so that anyone can go in and do the light show on your on your. Advertise it with an AKA link, AKA to MS slash Rick's tree. <laughs> you can IoT hack my Christmas tree. So anyway, uh, it's, we're currently on the fence at this point in time. Uh, we're leaning probably going back towards natural again, but I just yeah. don't want to deal with the natural anymore. Aspen says our cat's interest in Christmas trees pretty much ended Christmas trees for us. No, uh, Super Tech Boy says fake is better than dealing with pine needles in your feet in June. <laughs> nice. Because, you know, it's it's kind of like, I mean, no matter how much you vacuum, they're still around in June. Oh, I know, totally. Crazy yeah. it is. Crazy yeah. it is, I say. Although this time, at least I now have a hardwood floor, so it makes it easier to pick them up. You know how hard it is to get them up off a of freaking carpet? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It, I, I, I used to bring in my shop vac, like the, the backpack-mounted shop vac. Trying to get them off. It's just crazy how crazy it was. And then they get jammed up. Oh, I hated it. Wired Canuck puts a command in chat, exclamation, blink tree. <laughs> Congratulations, you found the hidden stream elements command. Uh, let's see. Uh, be beer talk. What's happening with the beer? We did brew beer on the stream uh, right. a couple weeks ago. What's happening with the beer? Let's give an update. Well, should we do a, a stream this weekend or something like that of beer maintenance or or, or like well, a, a so, pair so have down? To do that. We'll, we'll have to do it remotely and you'll have to to, to yeah. kind of do that I mean, because I could host it. You you could sit there and just look disapprovingly at me through the screen if you wanted to. I well that's that, that's just like that's, any. That's other. kind of like a regular show, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, we're we're currently um, we are currently asked to um, uh, to to not gather uh, right. outside your home uh, for the next. I think we have got three more weeks left. Yeah, we just started. So uh, yeah, totally agree. So yeah. I can definitely do a remote stream. What I probably would end up doing is. Um, uh, I think I've got a Bluetooth mic from my iPhone, so I could press stream it off my iPhone to the Teams client, <clears throat> and then we could work the magic to make it happen. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll see about doing something. But basically, I've done the original primary yeast dump already. That one's finished. Uh, I then crashed the temperature of the thing down, and now the secondary level of trub at the bottom has gathered and filled up, so I need to do another dump of that, and then we're good to go. So we definitely have some beer maintenance to do. I guess I will do the heavy lifting and, and uh, finish that off. For everybody, and we can have a uh, probably about half an hour stream chatting about it if you wanted to. At some point, we can schedule that up. Uh, yeah. But it's ready to go. I mean, it's it's uh, the way we do this in homebrew time is you take the original uh, original gravity of how much sugar solids are inside of the mixture of water. We measured that at 1.056 or 5.2 or something like that or 5.3. 10.56, I think. At 10.56 yeah. or whatever it was. So anyway, it was that high. And then the yeast goes in and eats all the sugars and reduces that back down to a as close to a 1.0. 010 as you can get. Our target was actually 1.018, so 18. Uh, we got it down to 1.014 last time I measured. So Ooh. it's going to be a nice dry stout. It's still yeah. going to have the back sweetness to it because we have the lactose, which is not able to be digested. So it's going to be sweetness to it. Right. Um, and I think I mean, when I sampled it a week ago, just a little tiny bit to see what it tasted like, obviously very yeasty, still kind of gross because none of the stuff had dropped out. So um, I will post a tweet update on Patch and Switch, at sign Patch and Switch, later today to tell you how the current taste profile is, if you're interested. Okay. Yeah. I'm definitely interested. I'm definitely interested. Yeah. And we should do that stream. Just a little random 30-minute update on the beer, I think, is, sure. is probably a good stream to do. And when you can do some beer maintenance and maybe and again, set up. We're not going to have Wired Jeep with his uh, entire support production infrastructure. Correct. <laughs> with, yeah. with a backup sound guy available as well. It's just going to be <laughs> uh, Rick in, in the garage with the phone, bad lighting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying, trying to get it all working. No, that's fine. No, I think I think it's good. I think it's good. Um, with that, we're coming up at the top of the hour, at the end of the show. Oh, by the way, we have been streaming on Learn TV. If you are watching on Learn TV, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, yeah. You can find us uh, normally. We're a uh, patch and switch. Um, that's Rick. I'm Joey. 
You can find us uh, at Sign Patch and Switch on most social medias except for TikTok because nobody wants to see us dance. Uh, mm. And also find us on twitch.tv slash patch and switch. Uh, so we will see a number of folks. We have Patrick, Super Tech Boy, another random IT guy, Aspen, Fair Brit, Mr. TJ12, not Mr. TJ11. Uh, <laughs> That's a totally different person. Johnny Chips with a Z, uh, Wired Canuck uh, on on the roster to play. Right on. Um, and I believe Jay Shock is also on that roster. So we'll do some randomization. We'll pick um, eight people, uh, seven, eight people to, to play with us, and then we'll, we'll rotate some folks. So if you're still interested in playing, please let us know because we're going to uh, lock out shortly. Uh, we'll say goodbye to everybody in chat. So thanks to another random IT guy to Aspen, to Eighth and Commander Roof. Uh, DEF CON veteran, Esposito, Fairbrook, Fuel, I am pure Johnny Chips, Kowski, Mr. TJ12, Mr. TJ11, Nice 524. Ah, welcome, Nice 524. Uh, Calvin, Patrick, Shadiest Dependence, the techest of Superboys, uh, TDI Bone, TE Cable Guy, VNK, the official gen of uh, the Patrick Social, unofficial official gen. Uh, Virgo Pros, Vision MVP, Wire, GP Wireless, Live CDN. Uh, that's it for this episode of The Big Program. We're back in two weeks' time. Until then, or actually, we're back in 10 minutes' time. Yeah, to play on the screen. On the screen. Until yeah. then, have a weekend, everybody. We'll see you.